Hey everybody. Hey, we're gonna have to pivot. Can you guys hear me okay? We're gonna have to pivot because I have no idea what's going on. Can you all hear me? I can see that my mic is picking up now because I just threw in my AirPods and I know the sound quality won't be the same, but I think we can make this work. So let me know that you can hear me. And now my mic is stuck in my bra, so we're just gonna leave that there. Hello, hello, Ingrid. Hello, Beth. I have no idea what just happened. No clue, but we're gonna figure that out afterward because everything was okay and sound check. And if I just hit a button, maybe I hit a button. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Catherine. Thank you. Ooh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> remember my birthday is in December. Um, I'm terrible at remembering birthdays, and Catherine's is especially hard to remember, even though it's on New Year's Eve. But it's always like one of those days where... It's crazy. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Cindy. Oh, I'm so glad you can hear me now. Okay. Sound is great. Thanks, Catherine. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Um, I won't be able to be here next week, so I wanted to be able to come on today because on Monday I'm celebrating a birthday and I'm really excited. Um, and so it made me think about birthday cards. It's been a while since I created a birthday card. I've been creating a lot of hellos and thinking of yous and things like that. And I really wanted to come on and do a birthday card. Before I keep going, let me just make sure that I put this on Do Not Disturb since I have my AirPods in now. Um, so <laughs> yes, I'm making Catherine's card so early. So what I'm doing today, we are going to have a little bit of fun. Let me go down to my screen down here. We are going to be creating a shaker card using the Glimmer machine. Now, our card's going to turn out a little bit different than this one. This was my practice card, and I like to do that before I go live just to be sure that what I'm showing you is like the best way to do everything, and I'm using the right materials, and this is just fun. It, there's nothing overly complicated about this card, but there's a lot of really great techniques involved here. And the main reason why I wanted to show you these products that I'm using today is because they are on super sale, you guys, at Spellbinders. Thank you, Beth. You're so sweet. Yeah, my birthday's Monday. I'm 41. So it's like not, not a thing. I don't, even, I don't even think I'll get a birthday present. Last year, my husband went all out. So this year, I don't think anything's happening. So, But my parents are coming in to watch the kids. So we get to go downtown. I'm very excited. Okay, so these are the products that I'm going to show you today. So my friend Carissa Wiley designed this collection for Spellbinders. And if you know Carissa, she has this beautiful, soft, and pastel style. And these products are just perfect for her style. And they're Glimmer products, which is just fantastic. So you have this giant party balloon, and everything is linked in my video description box below. Everything is on super sale, you guys. And I'm talking about like go and get it sale, not just like, you know, 5% off. It's a great sale. So this one is the Party Balloons Bouquet. I've die cut these. I've gone ahead and glimmered these and die cut these. And so I'm going to, I'm going to turn back my glitter mach glimmer machine on um, because after a while it does time out. It times out so that it's a safety mechanism. So let me go ahead and plug that back in. Okay. So this one is really fun because it's three balloons together. Then you get some sentiments and some little bits, even this little leaf that you can turn them into oranges, which I think is just the cutest thing ever. I'm also going to be using a 3D embossing folder. If you've never tried one of Spellbender's 3D embossing folders before, they are amazing. Now this one I just practiced on, but you can see, and I'm going to hold it like this, so you can see all of that definition on those balloons. It's just so super fun. I love it. So really not a long supply list today. I'm going to be using some acetate, some sequins that I have from my stash. So nothing like overly complicated, you guys. What I really want to show you, show you, and the Glimmer, the Glimmer system is also on sale. 
if you have been holding off and it's like $20 off, if you've been holding off on getting a glimmer, I'm going to tell you, like, I am not a person who likes to buy a ton of tools. I don't have a ton of space here. And so I, I'm really particular about what I purchase. I purchased this product just because I think bang for your buck. <laughs> you definitely get it with this. Um, I love that it comes with this booklet that I reference still. I, I keep this with my glimmer plates and I pull it out every time I glimmer. It's, it's not something that I'm just like, oh, I'm a glimmer expert. Things still go wrong with me, but that's okay. It's like a learning process. And so I'm going to have my little booklet out uh, just in case. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Crystal. Okay. So let me show you the glimmer hot foil system. I'm going to pull it over. It's been sitting on the edge of my desk, getting all nice and warmed up. There we go. Now this is the system. This is the little mat that you can put the hot things on, which I love. This is your magnet, which my child loves to play with. For some reason, there's something about this tool that he comes in my office and he finds it no matter where I hide it. Okay. So you have, let me show you the giant party balloon set because we're going to go ahead and glimmer first. So this is, this set is really cool because it comes with the glimmer plates, which you'll see are wider. You so see, you can tell that they're the glimmer plates because they're like thicker. So there's the thicker ones. You have your sentiment with the happy birthday and you have the balloon string. Then you have everything to die cut that out. This is a really great value set because you can do a lot with it. And you also have, you know, circular dies here as well. Now the big one cuts a little notch there and I'm going to show you that later to put the little balloon string in which I think is just was really clever of Spellbinders to do. The other thing that is on sale that I oh hello hello the other thing that's on sale that I am going to stock up on are Glimmer foils. Spellbinders has an amazing amazing range of foils that are just gorgeous and I only have like the basics. Today I'm using rose gold because I love rose gold um, and I have gold and I have silver but they have colored ones and so I'm going to be filling my cart with those. So you can see here my green light is on. It says platform ready. So that means I'm going to put my uh, my dies on here. Now this one I think I can put in the middle of my balloon. I'm pretty sure that is going to be okay, but maybe, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just play it safe because I always like to take risks <laughs> and I probably shouldn't. Well, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it and see if we can save some paper. I'm all about saving some paper and some foil. Okay. And then I have my balloon string. It's the only short one. This is a short one. Now, if you are nervous about moving things around on your platform, just grab your tweezers, just move it around so you don't burn yourself. It's hot, but it's not like third degree burn hot, That's right? So platform is ready. I'm gonna take my Spellbinder scissors. This is another thing. <laughs> I didn't think I needed a pair of scissors, and I think you've probably heard everyone say this, that we didn't think we needed another pair of scissors until we got the Spellbinder scissors, and then, yeah, they are the best scissor ever. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this foil off, kind of like an A2 size piece of foil. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And you can see with the heat, you can see it kind of rippling on there. Then I'm gonna hit the timer button. And that timer button is just going to start counting down to when that plate is going to be at its hottest. Now, you can go ahead and put your paper on now and get that ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going back here to die cut. So all I'm going to do when it's time to die cut is just pull this entire plate off of the system, put the glimmer shim, this is a thin shim, and the glimmer uh, spacer pad on top, and then run it through my Platinum 6, just like you would your die cuts. So yeah, this set is great, Catherine. It is. Just beautiful. Okay, so timer's still flashing. We're just waiting for that to go solid. And it's just gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. I love the reveal of this. 
it's just so good. So tell me, you guys, what is going on with you this week? Do you have birthday cards to send? Have you been making cards this week? Okay, so my light is solid. So now I'm going to pull that off. And all you do is just pull it straight out. It's not hung underneath you. I can pick it up like this, right? And then I'm going to turn around and put it straight into my Platinum 6. Now, the thing with this is you are going to roll it through. You know what? I will pick it up. I will pick it up. It's okay. You're going to roll it through ever so slowly. Look here. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't move anything around. So the slower you roll it, the more time it has under pressure, the better your your foil imprint will be. Because what it is doing is you put that foil uh, pretty side down and it is pressing that foil onto your paper. Okay, so there is our glimmer top. Catherine, if you're still there, just let me know that I'm coming through okay and everything looks good. A little bit thrown off by the sound, but you know, we're gonna make it work. And look how pretty. Now, <laughs> my happy birthday moved. So that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. We can do another one. That's the cool thing about the glimmer system is that all you know, you just put on another piece of foil and another piece of paper. Okay. Also, you can tell that it moved because let me just hold this up for you. Right here, my foil went outside of my die a little bit. So I'm just going to take a mono sand eraser. This is like one of the greatest tools ever. And I'm going to lightly rub on my cardstock there just to remove that teeny tiny bit of foil that came outside of the plate and get that off. But let me double check with my dies, which are, let me see right here. I'm going to see if I can cut out that circle or not. Thanks, Catherine. I appreciate it. Okay, let me double check here and see if I can get that circle out. And I don't think I can because I think it's going to put that birthday on. Okay, no worries. We are going to do it again. And this time, we're going to learn from our mistakes. And I don't need my little thing down here. So I'm going to put that aside. But I'm going to put this over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move this over slightly and put this down here and see if I can get it on a single A2 sheet. And I cannot. So we're going to do this separately. It is all good in the neighborhood. Okay. Grab another piece of foil. And I think I'm going to stock up on rose gold too while I am in the shop today because these deals are really good and it's a great time to stock up like a spring stock up okay so I'm putting my foil pretty side down like so I am going to hit that timer on just let that get nice and warm you can see the foil kind of moving around from the heat here and I'm going to put this one here. Now, could I do something with this? I definitely could. I could just cut out the outside, do a little ink blending, and, you know, put the balloon thing on and do that. And it, it has a foiled sentiment. It might not be in the center, but it's totally fine. Okay. Oh, hey, Carrie. I wonder if you saw my note earlier about checking the SCT vlog today. You might want to do that. I put it in, in, in Facebook for you. Okay, so timer's still flashing. Timer light's still flashing. You guys can't see it. There it is. Timer light's still flashing here. <clears throat> so sometimes when you're, <laughs> when you're making cards, things go wrong, and you just got to kind of roll with it. You just roll with it, right? That's what we do. Okay, timer, light is off. I'm going to place my paper down. Now I have plenty of room here, so I don't have to, don't have to worry about 
getting that off. Remember that dies always need, you know, you want to save about a quarter of an inch on all sides of your glimmer uh, plates for your dies because there's that little margin of white around. Okay, the other tip I have, don't ever go through your Platinum 6 twice with your glimmer plates because you could get uh, like a shadowing effect if it moves. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, perfect. So there we go. That's so much better. Okay, and then I'm going to take this off because I don't need that one anymore. Put it up here. I'm going to put my happy birthday on. And then all we have to do is slide that right back in there and put it back in place. And when it is warm enough, it will say platform ready. And while that is warming up, and I'm going to go ahead and get my foil on there. Now, the foil, the great thing about foil is you can use even the tiniest little piece of foil. You know, so I always use the foil almost until you can't get another image on there. Okay, so this is the cool thing about this these dies is that your little one goes on the inside so i'm going to put it down here and show you how i line this up the little one goes on the inside and the large one goes on the outside and then this is what cuts see that little notch there this is what cuts the little hole that your balloon string goes into which i think is just a really clever little design so I'm going to make sure that I get that at the bottom. But really, I guess since it's a circle, it could be anywhere and you just turn it. But I also want to make sure that my dies line up so that they are even all the way around. Especially when you have two like this and you're creating, it's almost like creating a frame. You want to make sure that they're nicely spaced. Okay, so there we go. So now I am going to, now this says platform ready, so I'm going to leave that there like that. I am going to hit the timer button on this, and I'm going to die cut at the same time. Okay, so here's my die cut sandwich. I'm going to pop that right on there and die cut this while my timer is on the glimmer machine. So I'm like double dutying right now. Usually when I do this, I mess up something. So let's just hope that I don't. Okay. Awesome, Carrie. It'll make your Friday. You could add something cute on top to the happy birthday so it looks like you purposely moved it down. I definitely could. And this is a very good circular die cut, so I'm going to keep that there. So there is my balloon outer shape with the little notch cut out. So that one is done. Now, the timer light is still flashing here, so I'm going to kind of move this aside and get my glimmer plates ready. And now it is ready, solid. We're gonna put our paper on. Now, I am using SCT uh, exclusive paper here. This stuff is fabulous for doing all things, for blending, for glimmering, all the things and I put the link to that down below you can get you can stock up on that paper so I'm going through my machine my platinum six slowly here to make sure that foil gets on my paper and let's see the reveal let's hope that this time I got it just right oh and I cut off the Y can you believe that so that's not bad we're gonna go with that it's like the teeniest tiniest bit is that passable, Simon? Yeah, Simon says looks good to him. <laughs> My husband is highly qualified, he said. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. One and done, or I guess it's two and done. Okay, so I'm gonna move my glimmer aside. Shouldn't need it anymore, but you never know. You never know. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my balloon string, which is here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna cut out my balloon string and the happy birthday sentiment. 
Now, when you are putting your tape on, just be sure you kind of don't throw that tape over top of your foiled element. You can kind of put it off to the side, but sometimes that tape will pull up your foil. I am also going to buy in this in this sale the Spellbinders tape, which I hear is the greatest. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. I am going to pop this happy birthday on here. And I'm not going to layer that up. That's silly. Oh, hi, Jess. Nice to see you on here. Can't wait to see you next weekend, friend. Okay, just die cutting my happy birthday sentiment. And these cut really beautiful. Look how fast that just came off. Beautiful. I'm going to have a lot of white paper here, little scraps. And then here is my birthday balloon uh, string, which is really cute. And here we go. Perfect. And as Beth said, I'm going to save this boo-boo for another card. It's foiled. It's ready to go, right? Okay. So I have those elements for my balloon. The next thing I'm going to do is get my background ready. To do that, I am going to do some ink blending. This is my favorite way to create kind of a pretty party themed background. And I'm going to grab my Pick It Fin Studios uh, palette here. This is the 10 by 10 blending palette. Hugs in real life, they are the best, Jess, yep. I am ready for it. Okay, so here's my paper. I am gonna use watermelon, buttercup, tide pool, and lilac from Concord and Ninth. I'm also gonna set this aside. So I shouldn't eat my glimmer plates anymore or remnants of foil. It's already a mess. It's already a mess in here. Okay, so we're just gonna do an easy blend. Okay, today was a standing day because I knew I was going to be pivoting back and forth. So we're standing to create our card today. Okay, I'm gonna go in ever so lightly here with watermelon. And this blend is gonna be just a pretty rainbow, pretty much one of my favorite blends to do because it always meshes together so beautifully. You can make it as light or as dark as you want. And if you guys are watching on replay, be sure to leave a comment letting me know if you have glimmered before, what you think about it, if you love doing it. One thing I love about the glimmer machine is when I get it out, I will do a lot in one go. So I'll pull out a few different glimmer plates, because if you're getting it out and turning it on, you might as well, right? Okay, so there's my watermelon. I'm going to get it a little bit darker here at the top. And this is in the darkest pink, so I don't need to go crazy. Next, I'm going to use Buttercup. And I'm going to wipe off this watermelon here. Buttercup is the prettiest buttery yellow. Oh, just got yellow on my finger. So let's not do that. Okay, so I'm going to go kind of at the two thirds mark here. And I want to get that nice kind of orange blend in here too. Now, if something doesn't go great on this blend, it's going to be okay because we're going to cut a big circle out of the center to make our shaker element. So it is going to be all good. I'm kind of going back and forth with this one. You can go in with some circles and then go side to side, whatever works for you. I just want to get kind of that a little bit more orange on the sides here. Okay. 
that looks good. Then I am going to come in with Tide Pool. <clears throat> and I love Tide Pool because I think it's the prettiest teal. It's not too green, it's not too blue, it's just right where I want it to be. And then different than the card that I created yesterday, I am going to add some purple to the bottom because some of my sequins were purple and I felt like it was missing. So when I do the blend with Tide Pool here, I want to get a little bit of green when it mixes with the buttercup. And then I want to get more blue down towards the bottom. The other thing about blending is that it might not look the greatest when you first start, but then the colors smooth out on the cardstock and you'll be surprised. <laughs> you'll think, wow, did I really do that? Okay. Oldest daughter calling me asking if I listen to all of Taylor Swift's songs. Yeah, I actually forgot that that was happening. Forgot totally. And I'm more like when Beyonce's album came out this month, I was all over that. But I'm more of a Beyonce fan than I'm a Taylor fan, to be honest with you. So I don't know if it will be on my playlist today. Lilac. We're going to go in here with Lilac. But it's nice that your daughter called you, Beth. That's the nice thing. She called you to see if you had listened to it yet. I love that. And Beyonce is a resident Texan, Beth, so support your Texas gals. <laughs> I really like the addition of purple on here. I'm glad I did that. Really glad. Okay. And what I might do is just trim that bottom. It's a little bit dark there at the bottom. It was a little bit heavy with the ink over there. I'm going to try to pull some of that purple up into the tide pool. But wow, this is looking like such a pretty blend. I love it. And then once we emboss it, it's going to really look fantastic. Okay, there we go. We're going to go with that. Okay, putting this aside. And I'm going to take this off of my mat. Just peel that off. I'm just going to throw that mat down there. And then we are going to do some 3D embossing. So I'm going to grab this floating balloons embossing folder. Another thing that Spellbinders is so good at is embossing folders. So be sure to check out that category to see what's on sale. But this one definitely is, and it coordinates so beautifully with all the products I'm using today. You just want to make sure you get it in your folder straight. And you want to make sure the Spellbinders logo is facing you. And then I'm going to grab the platform base. I'm going to put my 3D embossing folder on there and use the adapter plate, which is slightly thicker. And I'm going to run that through. Oh, before I do that, I just remembered. No, I'm not going to do that because I have to cut my hole first. Crazy girl. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We saved it. Okay. So we are going to line up our, our circle where we want our balloon to go. And so I want my balloon to be a little bit higher than center and make sure it is even left and right. I'm gonna put a little bit of mint tape on there and then grab my normal cutting base. Let's do that. I think the sound, I love the colors too, but I think the sound, <laughs> The sound issue when I started just really threw me off. Still kind of feeling it. Okay. So getting this lined up, making sure it is nice and even. And then I'm going to run that through. Cutting my circle first. So before you cut any shapes out of your paper, make sure you, before you emboss, make sure you cut any shapes. And look at how pretty that is too. That's a keeper. And you can foil right on top of that. So I could foil, you know, a sentiment or anything on top of it. 
now I'm going to put this in my embossing folder. That could have been a disaster, but it's okay. We fixed it. All right. It wouldn't be alive without things happening. So I'm going to take this off and take that off and take my cutting plate off and put that adapter plate on top. And then run that back through. And this one's a little tight. Oh, okay. And now wait till you see this. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? It is just the most fun thing. I just love it. Okay. So we have, I'm going to put my adapter plate aside because I won't need that again. And I am going to put my platinum sticks back here on the desk. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is back this with acetate. And what I should have done was grabbed a Swiffer, but I forgot, of course. Okay, I'm gonna just trim this slightly so that I don't have such a big piece. I don't want it to go to the edges. I just wanted to cover that cover that hole really nicely here. These are from scrapbook.com and they're already pre-cut for you to, it's just slightly larger than an A2 size, which is nice so that you have some margin. I think you can do a square card with these too. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to just grab some tape runner and put that on there around the outside of the circle. And you don't want to, oh, my tape runner is not working for me today. Okay, it's apparently one of those lives. It just is. Okay, what I'm gonna grab instead, and this is probably better because I don't have to put any pressure on it. And I'm gonna come in a little bit. Oh, Simon's looking at me like, are you okay? No. Do I need to fix anything? Well, my mic didn't work when I started, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's okay. We went with it. All right, so I'm going to use this tape from scrapbook.com to put this down. I don't want to push too hard because I have that beautiful embossed edge. <laughs> you just hopped over to the vlog. Congrats. Congrats, Carrie. Yay. Hope it made your day. While I was in Flinding, yes. Nothing to see here. Just messing up. It's all right. This is what happens. I always love when, you know, other YouTubers like Kathy and everything, everyone keeps it real because things do go wrong and we don't always make things that are 100% perfect. And sometimes we make things that we hate and we will not show. <laughs> and that's okay, you know, it happens. It happens to us all. And probably a lot more for us, since we're working with, you know, we're creating cards all the time and, and projects all the time, there's things that just do not turn out well. Okay, there is my adhesive on there. And I am going to pop my acetate on to make that window. Now, there's my window. And I'm going to take my balloon shape, making sure that the little cutout for that string is at the bottom. And I'm gonna put that right on the outside and get that adhered down. I'm gonna use some glue for this one to really make sure that that gets adhered. How pretty is that though? I'm still loving this blend. Still loving it, it's so pretty. I think anybody would appreciate a rainbow blend. My son loves rainbows too, so my husband said he would love a rainbow blend. <sighs> Maybe this could be your birthday card, babe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. He's saying it could be mine. Could be my birthday card. He's gonna steal it out of my, out of my stash. Okay, so I'm gonna 
pop that down. You better not buy me a card from Hallmark. Okay, I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to put some weight on it so that that can... Actually, I'm going to put that much weight on it. And then I can get my other elements. Now, this one, I you know, this whole thing is going to be popped up quite high because it's a shaker. So I do not want to over pop up everything. What I am going to grab is one of these great card bases from scrapbook.com and get that ready because we are nearing the end. The, the greatest thing is, is when you're doing a card like this, the majority of the work is just creating the elements and then throwing it together is super fast. So that's why I'm saying when you're, you know, when you pull out your glimmer machine, do a few different things at once and then you have a, you have an easy card. Easy peasy. Okay. So I'm going to get out my thicker foam adhesive from uh, scrapbook.com. I am going to put my balloon string on next. Now, this has a little cutout in it. And what I can do is just grab my spatula. <laughs> Lives are an adventure, Carrie, for sure. I'm going to grab my spatula and just kind of open that up like that. And put some adhesive on my balloon string. So now I need to uh, figure out my mic situation because it's never done that when I hit the live go button. Okay, and then that just slides in like so. So that just slides in. Make sure it's nice and straight because balloon strings do hang down straight. I think that's kind of straight. Oh gosh, okay. There we go and I'm gonna press that down. Okay, so let that kind of sit on there for a second. And then I can close my glue bottle. I am going to go ahead and put some adhesive tape on this sentiment because again, I don't want too, too much dimension on here. There's gonna be quite a bit anyway with the shaker element. I put a little bit of glue here. I always get worried about glue and acetate because, you know, it can get on your acetate and then it looks terrible. I hate when that happens. And you've worked so hard at creating this beautiful shaker and then you put glue on it. I hate that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these off. Pull that off and put this right there. I like it hanging off of the edge slightly. I don't want it covering the whole thing, but just keeping about a quarter of an inch from that right side. And then I'm just gonna press it down. Let me get my little shaker elements. I have, these are as old as the hills, but I thought, with the stars, that would be super cute. A little bit different than the ones I used for the example card, but I really like the addition of the stars. So hopefully I can shake some stars out in there. And let me get this nice and closed here so that we can put some shaker bits right in the center. Don't wanna to get too, too many. And you know what? I don't want the red ones because I don't really have red, red in my card. So I'm going to do some selective sequining here and get those red ones out. There we go. So I got teal, pink, yellow, blue, green. That's perfect. And then I'm going to put some clear ones in too. I think clear just adds the sparkle without the color. And I like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to space them out so that they don't get bunched up in there. Okay, now my sentiment should be nicely in there and I can put my dimensional adhesive on. Okay, how's everybody doing? Everybody good? Okay, so with this, 
you want to cover that circle. And there are products out there that have circles that you can create, you know, an entire, you can just like put a circle around the circle die cut that you cut out. Or you can die cut the circle out of foam adhesive. But for this one, I'm just gonna go in just like so, making sure my foam adhesive is touching. I think it's not right there, but it's it's not far off. It's really tiny. You can't fit a sequin through that, so that's okay. And I'm just going around the outside of the shaker window. So be sure to check out this entire collection because there are some beautiful products and I'll show you one other one that I, you know, just foiled so that you can see. And I'll probably end up making a card off camera, maybe for myself, for my own birthday, since I might not be getting one. Somebody is telling me, I'm making my own card. Yeah. Yeah, one of my kids will make me a card because they love me. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit up here and a little bit over here. You can never add too much dimensional adhesive, no matter what anyone tells you. Okay. Okay. And one there. And one here. You don't want any sagging areas of your card. So don't let don't let anything sag. One more. One more piece. <clears throat> okay. So now it's time to pull all of this off and get it in place. And once I do pull all of these off, I'm going to put some liquid adhesive on there just to kind of give it that little bit of wiggle room for when I put it on my card front. Okie dokie. Anybody else really glad it's Friday? What a great idea to make your own card. <laughs> yes. Why not, Beth? At least I know that I'll get a card that I really love, right? If you make it, make it for yourself, I'll probably end up making my own cake on Monday too. Uh, German chocolate. So pretty sure that's going to happen. That's what happens when you get to be an adult. It's not fun as it adulting. You just... Make your own birthday surprises. Okay. Although last year I did have an amazing birthday, so I cannot, I can't complain. I cannot complain. I just want to fill in this bit here. No sagging pieces on my card. Okay. Ooh, don't touch that acetate. Okay. Here we go. We're going to turn it over. We're going to get our sequins in place. Make sure that... Those are in that window, and we are going to press. That is as good as I could have ever gotten. Press it down. Wow, that totally worked. And I'm really excited <laughs> that I got it straight. That's like the first thing that went right. Ooh, okay. Look at, oh, that is super pretty. I think I left one red red sequin in there. There's a rogue red sequin. We'll just hide him behind the happy birthday. Isn't that pretty? You guys, look how shiny. It's like the camera's going nuts because it's so shiny. I love it. Now, you can grab a few clear sequins here and just pop a few around the outside so that it doesn't compete with, you know, the rest of the the card elements so you could one two three four five something like that and just put these are really hard to see because they're so clear but you know j this will just add a little bit of sparkle on around the outside so you won't see it until you actually move the card but you might as well add a little bit more, right? Especially if you're making a card for yourself, you can't 
can never hurt to add too much sparkle. So there we go. Look at it. I love it. So pretty, right? Okay. So there's that one. I just want to show you what I cut out here too from this set. Now, this is in the same collection uh, with Spellbinders. It's called Party Balloons Bouquet. It's linked below. This is really cool because there is a coordinating stencil. So you can go in and you can make, and look at this example, how perfect is that? You can go in and you can make these balloons. You can make them like a disco ball. You can ink blend the strings on the end or use the glimmer strings. See, there's a string there. You can make them ornaments because you have ornament toppers. And I just love these. I think they're so pretty. I used these before and I went to pull out the card, but I think I sent it to someone. So look at, you can ink blend that in one shape and then you can do the confetti balloons. I just think they're so, so pretty. Let me just do a confetti balloon for you real quick. I mean, we can't, we can't go wrong with a confetti balloon, right? Cannot go wrong. So let's see here. If I line this one up like so, just like that, I'm just trying to find some tape that I have here randomly, random pieces of tape, then I can make another birthday card for myself. And I'll do the same colors. Why don't we just do some tide pool? But I love this. I love having coordinating the coordinating stencil that goes with it to color in those balloons. Just think it's the best. It just adds a little bit of texture to the balloons. And then you can go in and add them to another ink blended background. You could do something more simple with this one. I just love it. I love this entire collection. When it came out, I loved it. And now it is on super sale. So hopefully if you guys have it, you will pull it back out and make some birthday cards for someone you love. I'll leave it out for my husband. Maybe he'll glimmer, glimmer my birthday card. <laughs> my daughter would want to. Okay, look. Look how cute. There's all sorts of things you can do on these. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so, and then they give you these too, where you can like cover up little bits of the balloon so that you don't ink blend over, you know, the edge. Love that. Right, so I'm going to go back to my screen. Hopefully, you guys loved the card. I love it. So, so pretty, just really pretty pastels and birthday wishes and rainbows. I love it. Hopefully you guys like it too. Uh, oh yeah, Beth says she puts her shaker elements on the acetate piece and place the back on. So I used to do that, Beth, and I find that this is much easier when I kind of contain it on the paper and then place the acetate over the top. It just makes me less, less nervous that way. So you should try it and see if you like that way better, just to see. But I'm going to play with this one and see what I can, what I can come up with. Maybe just kind of do something similar to this. But I hope you guys had a great time and watching. And thank you for watching on replay, for watching on replay. Be sure to check out the Spellbinder sale. All the links that I used, uh, the products that I used are below in my video description. Take advantage of the sale to stock up on, don't forget about your platinum six plates. You can get platinum six plates on sale so that, you know, when your plate wears out, then you have a new one, a fresh one on hand. And I love that. I always love having extra plates on hand. Yes, it is an easy card to mass produce. I hope you'll try it for sure, Beth. Okay, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will not see you back here on Friday because I will be in Toronto at SCT headquarters for a paper crafting event. So I will see you probably the Friday after next. Have a wonderful couple of weeks and happy creating.